Hi, John Stapleton with Focus Realty, and right now we need to talk about something serious, and that's your safety when your house is on the market. Uh, it's not fun to talk about, but things happen, and I want to give you a few tips that will help increase your safety. The first thing is just keep your common sense. If somebody knocks on your door and says, hey, can I come into your house? You're not going to normally let them in. So if somebody shows up without a realtor knocking on your door trying to arrange a visit, make them call the realtor or make them call me. We'll make sure that they are actually a qualified buyer, that they've gone through the mortgage process and everything, so that we are only letting people into your house that are actually in the market to buy a house, at least the best that we can screen them. Um, you want to think about the valuables that you have in your house, jewelry, credit card numbers, bank accounts, uh, account numbers, checkbooks, things like that. You don't want to have those where people can easily find them. Sometimes the Mr. and Mrs. buyer or a couple or the family or the people that are looking at the house will split up and go in different directions. There's no way that the agent who's showing your house can necessarily see everything that they're doing. And every now and then somebody pretends to shop for a house so that they can be stealing something. So just realize that it's a necessary risk that you have to take, but you can minimize it by preparing your house the best that you can. Uh, another thing, when a realtor comes to show your house, they will have on their phone or on a device the ability to send a code in and communicate with the lockbox, which will store a key to your property. It will know who opened it, what time, and I will get an email or text message within just a moment after they open the door letting me know that your property is being shown. That is a safety mechanism. So if somebody's walking up the front walk while you're leaving because it was just a tight time frame and you're, you're walking past them, don't leave the door unlocked and let them in. Make them open the door using the lockbox. It's one of the ways that you verify that that really is a realtor and they really have some business opening your house. Um, the other thing you want to think about is making sure that your property is safe for buyers. They're walking around, they're looking at stuff. So if you have an extension cord stretched across your hallway, don't have that. If, if there's places where people are likely to trip, take care of that. Don't leave loaded guns out. Uh, if you have a vicious dog, the vicious dog needs to not be there when showings are happening. And you don't want to be there when showings are happening. If there's going to be an interaction, it's probably not going to help you. Um, sometimes we have situations where acts of violence happen in the house. You don't want to be there for that. The other thing is, the buyer's thinking about living there, so if you're in the house, you're making them feel like they're in somebody else's house, and that's not the right mental state for them to be in while they're looking at your house anyway. So, ideally, be gone from the property when it's shown, have the property safe, don't have anything in there that they can easily find that they could take from you, whether it's intellectual property or jewelry or things like that. And, uh, and just be aware of things and keep your common sense. Again, not a fun thing to talk about, but it's important that we do talk about these things. I'm John Stapleton with Focus Realty. I help people make good decisions about real estate.